You know, Emily, I will be straight up. I just want to say one thing, and I don't mean to attack oh you in any way, but just, I will say, it made me crazily uncomfortable that you took a flight with COVID. I tested negative. Yeah. Um, I. If you want me to email you my no, no. PCR, no, I can do that, that as well. No, it's just that there's like a 10 day quarantine. Yeah. I apologize that you feel no, it's just uncomfortable. Like, yeah. um, but like, I had to do what I had to do. And if you were in my position with yeah. your grandfather, who was basically raised me, yeah. um, it might you might feel different. Recently, I tested positive for COVID. I quarantined for a few days before testing negative and flying to the US to my grandfather's funeral. I, I wouldn't have gotten on a plane with COVID, I don't think, but yeah. How was processing his passing, by the way? Is it a good ceremony? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Emily. I didn't mean to make you cry. I'm sorry to try not to I'm so sorry. think about I'm my so grandfather a lot. I really apologize. I didn't, no, no, I really okay. didn't. I don't want to cry. I didn't mean to, I, I'm so sorry. I, I feel horrible. I'm really shouldn't have brought it up. She explains to us that no, she tested positive and then she tested negative and then she was able to go to the funeral. So I believe her. Do you have any tissues left? No. <gasps> what? I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> You're all <laughs> here. I'm so sorry. No, this is, I told you we have too many water signs. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I would have listened to you and brought more comfy sweats. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna just go defrost. Okay, I'll see you girlies in like an hour. I'm gonna shower. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm gonna go shower. <laughs> I have not once been consoled. Not even consoled, I'm not looking for consolation. I have not once been addressed about the death of my grandfather upon arrival. Um, and it's very interesting how the only comments I get are, why did I fly home with COVID? Hey, babe. I brought you sweats. Oh, thank you. And I'm gonna Cheers. take my sweats. Perfect. Do you want to wear the hoodie with it? Um, no, because we're gonna wear mashy. Yeah. Okay. Let me sit down for a second. I'm like, brain dead. Yeah. Uh, well, today was a roller coaster. God, tell me about it. Um, I personally feel terrible about like, as much as the, just the Emily thing, like it was my timing. I, I think she got defensive and then obviously like upset because of her grandfather, grandfather passing and, and that's why she went I don't went think to... really any of us thought about that. When she says she tested negative, I, to me that's bullshit. But I can't, you know, tell someone they're lying. So I feel like there was no winning in that conversation the thing is, Emily was positive, took a flight to Miami, and then she took an, another flight to New York and partied and then came back to Paris, like multiple flights. And, we, and like she kept taking her mask off. She got, like during the flight, she was like, I'm not wearing a mask. The trick is I just keep a food in front of me. I keep a bottle of water open. And like the flight attendant asked her five times, even on the way here to put her mask on. I have a father that travels all the time that is who, who has COVID. immune issues and is who got COVID in a plane. From a plane. Yeah. You know. Who's 80 years old. It's just insane to me that someone would do that. She's super young. And like, when I was 22, I made weird mistakes. But do I think that's an excuse to get on a commercial flight with COVID? No. She can read the news. Like, she's not, like, 12. Like, like and, and what, you're going to email me your fake papers? Our intentions are only good to like educate her of like, hey, that's not really right. I hate upsetting people. Yeah.